Sir, what's your middle name? Sir. Uh, Spell that. Um, to be honest, sir, I don't. I don't use that. Say it again. To be honest, I no, don't. no, I heard that, but say how your middle name is pronounced. Sherell. With a Sherell with a C or an S? S. Okay, I'll figure it out. And what's your last name, Boatwright? Yes. You know how to spell that? Yes. Spell it for me. B o a t r i g h t. What's your date of birth? September 12, 1995. 1995. How old will that make you? 22. 22. They call you anything on the street? Yes, sir. Okay, don't call me sir. The only reason I say that because everybody's got a nickname, including me. My name is John Curcio, but nobody ever can remember that, so everybody calls me Mongo. So, uh, you can call me whatever you want to call me. But what's a good address where you stay at, Mike? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Good address. Where's your people stay? Where's your mom? Your mom and your dad still alive? And my dad still alive. Where's he living? Is that where you sleep? I mean, when you go to bed at night, do you sleep, you sleep with your dad or where do you sleep? I sleep with my grandma. Okay, what's your grandma's address? Mm -hmm. uh, spent 30 years over there with the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. Mm -hmm. What's your grandma's name? Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right. All right, what's a good phone number for you? Mm, no. All right, how long you had that number? Mm, sometime. Huh? Sometime. Sometime like days, months, years? Months. Months? What is that, Metro? Yeah. Alright, I didn't even ask them where they got you. Where did they get you at tonight? Yeah, I don't even know what I'm here for. I want to tell you what you're here for, but I'm saying did they get you on the street? Did they get you in the house? Where did they get you at? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask them. I, just, I was just driving. You're driving? I was in the car. Okay. Alright, well, see, again, I haven't asked them, so I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. Whose car were you driving? I was it driving. I said I was in the car. Oh, I, well, see, he's talking so low, I couldn't hear you. Okay, you was in the car. Yeah. You're a passenger. Yeah, I know what's going on. Yeah, I gotta get some background about you. Yeah, you're a passenger. I have a, a, a warrant from a judge for you, so I'm trying to get some information from you. So I never met you before, you never met me before. That's why I'm trying to ask you certain questions. You was driving in a passenger. Who was, who was driving the car tonight? 
Teenage girl I know. This girl you know? Okay. Okay. All right, how far did you go in school? Mm, high school. So what, what, tenth what, grade. Tenth grade. Where'd you go? Different schools. Okay, which one? In high school, I went to a Pine Ridge. Pine Ridge down there off Davy. Mm. Where what before they put you in that school because that means you had some problems in some other school. Which what other school were you at? In the northeast. 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 Shit, you're right way out in Terravilla and Coral Springs. Mm. Where else? Yes, so which one did you go to last, Northeast or Tarabella? Northeast. Okay, well, if you're in Lauderdale Manor's living, you should have been a Dillard man, right? I ain't always stayed in Lauderdale. Okay, did you ever live up there by Northeast? Yeah, that's why you I went to Northeast. Okay, remember, who were you staying with up there? Okay, these are tough questions, man. You play, I'm to see you play sports or not? I'm asking you to get information back right now. Believe me, I'm going to tell you what this is all about in a second. I'm going to give you a copy of what this is about. But i got to get background so I know who I'm talking to and, and you know, did you understand? I don't want you, so I didn't know what I do. Okay, well, I'm just letting you know. All right, so you went to Terrell, you went to Northeast, you went to what grade, 11th, 10th grade? Mm -hmm. What year was the last year you went to school? 2001. Mm -hmm. It was a long time ago. I saw you had some uh, competency court things. What's that all about? Have you ever been to a doctor where they where they like like to a doctor where you gave him prescription medication for something? Okay, what's that all about? What do they say I you go are? To archways. You what? I go to archways. Archways. Well, what do they say? What do they say? Uh, what are they treating you for? In other words, what do they say? Bipolar, depression. What do you? What do you? What do they say you got? Okay, they give you pills. Yeah. You know the name of the pills? No. You take them every day. Okay, but you go to Archway. How long have you been going to Archway? About two, three years. Two, three years. They help you out when when you take those pills. What is it? I mean, is it like you got ADHD or I mean they don't even they don't even, Okay. All right, now I got to ask you this question too, and I don't know nothing about you. Have you done any drugs tonight? Like, smoked any weed? Took any mollies? I just need a lot of drugs. You did a lot of drugs? Yeah, okay. I did weed. Weed? Mm -hmm. How much weed did you do? A lot. A lot like what? One joint? One like this big? How big? <laughs> what does it mean? How much weed? I don't know what I'm here for, sir. Okay, I'm going to let you know that, but i got to make they sure you got understand. They weed from me. They say I'm here caught on I had coke, dope on me. Oh, they, you had dope on you when you got caught? Yeah, so I have on. Okay, look, I'm just asking you, did you, not did you have it in your pockets, but did you do any of it tonight? No, I was okay. about to. He was about to, so you didn't do any of it tonight. All right, somebody else is coming in. Uh, Sir Ritel is here. If you wanted to talk to him, somebody wanted to talk to him. Who wants to talk to him? Oh. I finished shaving. Oh, okay. Well, we're we're uh, live. I'll be right out there, Sergeant Ritel. I got the uh, the other two. Okay. Over somewhere. Okay. Um. Well, Walt should be coming out there in a second. Hold me. Hold on a second. Let's, Wait, no, we're say, we're let's digress from this conversation. Um. Yeah, because we were talking about District Five. Okay. Uh, because of the construction. Okay, I got you. <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? Send him over there. Oh, by the way, the arms look good. Thank you. All right. So send him over there. Um, just John Brown is at his desk. I think I saw him come in. Uh -huh. Just make. I think he's at his desk. So make sure that that's an agreement with Walt, because that's what we were going to do. Okay. So, uh, as far as the the uh, you said you got two more or all. No, I'm sorry, it's not the other two, it's the uh, passengers of the vehicle. Oh, 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 okay, I thought you meant the other two. Okay. Yeah, just let, the. Uh, hey. he can probably do those out front there. Okay. So, all right, I, I'm, I'm uh, in the middle of... Uh, you gotta do the thing. All right, they're talking about something totally different. All right, going back to me and you, you didn't do any of the drugs tonight. That, you know, you didn't smoke them, you didn't... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what we have is a search warrant for a murder case. And I was just asking you to see if you did any drugs so I know if you're high when I'm talking to you. 
And I'm going to have a man come in here. He's going to take your fingerprints and your DNA, and he's going to take pictures of you. And then I'm going to come in, and you can either talk to me or not talk to me. All right? It's up to you. All right? Is that all right? But again, I just wanted to know how high you were tonight, and you're saying you're not high. So that's the only reason. I, obviously, I made you mad by talking about that. All right? Have any questions before I bring the other man in here? That would mean you have no other questions before I bring the man in here? The forensic guy to do your fingerprints and all that stuff? No. You gotta at least say no, you don't have any other questions. All right, let me go get him in here. I'll be right back. You're gonna get a copy of one, huh? So I'm going to jail? Yeah. For what? Well, let me go get with the paperwork I gotta bring you, and I'll explain it to you. I was gonna explain it to you, but we're gonna get back to the point where. I, I understand that you understand what's being said to you because you're not high. That's the one thing I was asking you. Okay? So I'll be right back. In fact, let me make this easy for you. So you're not confused. Put your knee over here. Okay. I'll be right back with you. You want a water? I want to understand what I'm doing. I'm going to explain it to you. You want a water for what I explain it to you? I just know I know I'm yeah. Okay, I'll be right back in. All right. Now I'm back with my paperwork for you. All right. I'm going to explain you everything you want to know, but the one I only wanted to ask you one question, that was your drug use, if you, if you were high or not. Do you mind answering that question for me before I tell you everything you want to know? Just been smoking weed. Okay, but how much weed did you smoke? One, two joints? Just smoking all day. All day? All right. Do you know why? you know what I do for a living? I'm a police detective. I just want to make sure you're not so high you think you're on Mars. You know you're in a police station, right? Okay, closer so I can hear you. Above and beyond the fact you had drugs with you tonight, again, I'm not a drug detective. And I went in front of a judge to get a warrant to do exactly what that man did, which was take your DNA, take your fingerprints, and take your pictures in reference to a murder investigation. Because something I've been investigating, people brought your name up into it. Okay, that's why, you, that's why I'm explaining it to you. So for me and you to talk about it, and so you understand what this is all about, I'm going to read you your rights, and then you have the decision to make whether you want to talk to me to hear what this is about or not. So I'm going to jail for what? At the moment, you're going to jail for the drugs. What do you want, community release? Mm. Free trial? Yeah. Okay, you're going to jail for that. I haven't finished my homicide investigation yet because I'm still doing that but again you're here I don't know nothing about that. I okay well that's why we're going to talk about it because your name got brought up in it I got a, a, a search warrant for the homicide case to get your DNA your photographs and your pictures but that's why I want to talk to you. You haven't been charged with the homicide yet. Well, I think, uh, okay, yeah. okay but again when, when I started asking little questions and you said about drug use, you know, for me to explain it to you, I got to read you your rights. You had your rights read to you ever before in your life? No, yeah, I've been arrested before. Okay, like, so you, you you had your rights read to you? Let me read them to you again. I don't know if it's the same thing you finna read now. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is read them to you. And, you know, again, this is something each one of them I'm going to read to you, and then you just say yes or no, or I don't understand. If you don't understand, then I'll explain it to you, you know, so you can understand it. You went to 10th grade, though, so, you know, these, these shouldn't be hard to understand. But if you have a problem, you let me know. Uh, you say you can't get pictures for and DNA. I know for a fact I don't got nothing to do with it. Okay, what's well. going on. If he already got the pictures, can I, can I just go to, um... No, you're going to jail. Yeah, I know. Can I, for, um... But then you want to get to know what it's about. 
So when I'm done reading these, if you don't want to talk to me, you can say you don't want to talk to me, but then you won't know what it's about. But does that, I mean, you, do, you, do you want me to read this thing? What? Do you want to know why I got a judge to give me a warrant for you or not? Yeah. yeah. You just said because um, people will bring you to and me. Okay. Well, again, I'll, what I'll do is I'll read you these. If you understand them, you can make the decision to to hear what... I don't want nothing to do with it, so I, I really don't want to like you feel me. Okay. Well, once you uh, read these to you, if you don't want to answer one or two of the questions or any of them, you don't have to answer any of them. All right. Because uh, well, if you're not involved, then one of the first questions I'm going to say is, where were you at? No. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, once I read these, you make that decision. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before I ask you any questions, I want to advise you of your rights under the law. Do you understand that I'm a police officer? Yeah. Want me to show you your badge? Oh, it's right over here. Okay. Work for the sheriff's office. I'm a police officer. All right. You have the right to remain silent. That is, you need not talk to me or answer any questions if you do not want to. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Should you talk to me, anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. You have the right to talk to an attorney before talking to me and have an attorney here with you during questioning now or in the future. Do you understand? Yeah. If you cannot afford to retain your own attorney and you want an attorney, one will be appointed for you before we ask you any questions. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you decide to answer the questions now without an attorney present, you'll still have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to an attorney. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. All right. No one understand your rights as I read them to you. Uh, I'm going to ask you questions. You can ask me questions. and. Mm -hmm. No you don't want to ask your questions? Do you want me to tell you anything about what the case is? You can tell me, but... Okay, well, you seem confident that you're not involved in it, so my, I guess my question is, what do you what do you think the case is I'm working? What is it about? There's a million cases out in the street. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. But whatever it is, I'm not involved in nothing. Okay, so, again, you don't... I thought I was here, like I said, for, for the drugs. Well, you are here for the drugs too. Okay, well, <laughs> I mean, I can't help that. I didn't. That's got nothing to do with me. But I mean, you got caught with drugs. You got caught with drugs. I'm here because, uh, again, this investigation. Somebody brought up your name on. The, you know, did you read about the rapper who got killed up at Riva Motorsports? Yeah, I read about that. Okay, you, I, I can't even pronounce his name. You know what, what they call him? XXX. Yeah. What's what's the, what's the rest of his name? Ted Ted something. Okay. That thing is what your name got brought up into. So the question would be, that happened uh, on the 18th, which was a Monday, two weeks ago. You know what today's date is? Yesterday was the 4th of July. Today's the 5th. So it would have been two weeks ago this Monday that just passed up at Riva. Do you even know where Riva is? No. It's a it's a motor place up in De well, uh, from the news. I know it's a motor space. Okay, but have you ever been there before? Is what I'm trying to get at. No, you don't ride dirt bikes. No, you're not one of those guys that comes out of Parkway on Sunday. No. Okay. All right. So you you've never been up to Riva, not even at all. No. Okay. If you'd like, I'll bring you in some pictures of who's bringing your name up into it, and then you can tell me why you think they're bringing your name up into it. No. You don't want to see the pictures. Okay, there's a boy named Chucky. Do you know a boy named Chucky? Um, the tattoo man. Yeah, the tattoo man. Yeah. You know him? You know him? Yeah, uh, the tattoo man. Okay, but is he, uh, you know him from seeing him in the newspaper, or you knew him before he got arrested? I, yeah, for doing tattoos, yeah. Okay, has he ever done your tattoos? A few of them. What? A few of them. A few of them? Which ones? Yeah, a long time ago. Okay. Well, I see you got a ton of them, so do I, so I'm just yeah. asking. All right, so he's done your tattoos, so he knows you. No, um, not. Oh, you yeah, just business? Tattoos, yeah, like business-wise. Okay, does he tattoo you at his house or at your house? Um, around the time, he had a shop. He had a shop? Where at? Um, what city? Um, I forget where it was. But not, is it Fort Lauderdale, where you're from, or some other city where you had a ride a long ways? Um, yeah, it was a long time ago. Okay. A long time ago, like years and years ago? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This thing involved a, uh, 
a Dodge Journey, which is like uh, an SUV. Do you know what a Dodge Journey looks like? Because I can get a picture of that. It's a it's a blue SUV. And that day when this thing Arriva happened, Chucky the Tattoo Man was in that car. Have you ever been in or around a, a, a blue, dark blue Dodge Journey before? No. No? Have you ever been around Chucky recently? No. Okay. Um, like I said, if I brought pictures, it'd be easier to explain. I'm seeing though, like. Okay, well, I'm just I'm asking you about things that your name is getting brought up into. But I don't know nothing about that. So okay, well, you, you already said you weren't at Riva, so I'm trying to figure out why Chucky would put your name into it. I don't know. When was the last you saw him years ago? Did you have a beef with him? You paid for all your tattoos. I mean, did he just have a beef with you about something? Or he'd throw your name out just to throw me off and put your name into it? That's not a tough question, man. Do you have problems with Chucky? I guess that would be, you don't want to answer that question, so I won't answer that question. How about the uh, what they call the, the pink apartments, the driftwoods? You ever, you ever hang out over there? No. What? No. No? You know where the dr driftwood is when I say that? No. 31st and 19th Street. You know where that is? No. All right, I'm trying to figure out. Well, it's not far from Lauderdale Manage. Um, you know where the FPNL plant is up there? I'll draw you a little map. This is the swap shop. Yeah, I'm just saying no disrespect. You know, I yeah. have nothing to do with me. I just... Okay. Well, again, I'm just asking you if you know where an apartment complex is. This is the swap shop. This is Sunrise Boulevard. This is 31st. You're going north. The Driftwood's up here on 19th Street. FP and Eel plants over here. Across 19th Street on this side is the tire shop. This is the Driftwood Apartments. Do you know where that is? You ever been up in there? No, I ain't never been in there. I think I rode by before, though. You rode by? It's got gates on it where there's a gate goes oh, yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I rode by before. They used to call them the pink, the pink uh -huh. apartments. But you're too young for that. But you've never been in the Driftwood? Okay, Chucky's got a, a big fat friend named Fat Rob or Big Rob or he lives, his mama lives right down here on 17 Court. When I, you know, again, if I had the pictures, you'd let me bring the pictures and I ask you, do you know Big Fat Rob at all? No? Like I said, I, I wish you'd let me bring the pictures in so I make sure you know who these guys are who are bringing your name up. But you don't know Fat Rob, whose mama lives right, like, right over here? No? These guys are all, every name I mention other than Chucky, uh, you don't know. Hmm. All right, well, it's like I said, I'm just trying to solve the mystery. Now, that phone number you gave me, I guess the policeman, when they stopped you, you had two phones on you. One's what, an iPhone and one's a, which which number is the 600 number? Mm. The iPhone or the other one? Not. The iPhone. And what was the number again? I think I wrote it down wrong. 954 600 6165? Yeah. And that's the, what color is the iPhone? Black. Black. And what's the other phone you got? It's a Metro, but I don't know the number of You don't have the Metro? And what, I didn't look at it. What is the Metro uh, cool Galaxy or Cool Pad? Which one have you had longer, the iPhone or the Cool Pad? Cool Pad. How long you had the Cool Pad? About months. Months? Is it in your name or somebody else's name? Somebody else's name. All right. I don't even want to ask you about that. Anybody else use that phone but you, that Cool Pad? Sometimes I let the kids play with it. Oh, you have kids? No, I don't have kids. Oh, I let the kids play with it. But what kids? Just any kids? Yeah. I mean, you lend them? I'm at a girl's house. Oh, when you're at a girl's house, you let them play, but you don't give it to somebody and say, hey, you don't rent out your phone, right? Oh, no. Okay. You don't give it to somebody and say, hey, bring it back in a day or two. Okay. You sure you don't want me to bring these pictures in so we make sure we don't, you don't know who I'm talking about? I mean, I want to bring a picture of the fat guy in. 
I've seen him on the news too. Oh, you saw him on the news too? And you never seen him before in your life? No? They call him, his name's Robert Allen, but they call him, Chucky calls him Shata, <laughs> which is Jamaican for hitman, I guess, which I don't know how he's a hitman because he looks like he hit the buffet. <laughs> he don't look like he kind of, kind of, kind of a little round to be a hitman. So. All right, so you don't know him, you know Chucky. And how long has it been since you think you saw Chucky? Years, months. Okay. All right. I guess they brought those girls down that you're with, too. So was one of them, you're like, are they just friend girls or one of them, you're a real girlfriend? Friend girl. One of them, my girl. Got no babies or nothing with her? Which one? Which one's your actual girlfriend? The driver. The driver. All right. Now this 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 car that I'm asking about though, you do you ever did? I mean, you ever even seen one like that? What? The Dodge Journey, where you've been around it or in it or anything like that. So again, why do you think Chucky? Why do you think Chucky? This is the your copy of the warrant. Why do you think Chucky would put your name into it? You know Chucky's uh, girlfriend, the girl with all the tattoos. I think she, she doesn't know you though. Okay. All right, well, you can have that, and I get to tell you kind of a, a little bit of problems you're gonna have, just so you understand. I'm not trying to make you mad because, you know, again, these guys brought up your name and your fingerprints are on the Dodge Journey, so. You know, if you ever get to, to the stage when you want to actually start telling what really happened, if it was for real or an accident or what happened, and you want to put your side out rather than just letting these guys' side come out, you know, as as a guy who's much older than you, fatherly advice, you know, you probably should tell the truth, especially since no matter what you think about the streets, uh, when people are sitting here, they want to get themselves out of things. And they want to get it out of it by throwing up everybody else's names. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're throwing your name up, so maybe you should tell me what happened that day so I know whether they're telling the whole truth or not. But you're not telling the whole truth because your fingerprints are all over the truck. And I got video of you inside the driftwood because there's cameras all over the place getting into the truck. And I can bring those in here to let you look at them, too, because I don't mean you no harm. But, again, I'm trying to convince you these guys have already sat in here and told this story. So, you know, again, you don't look like no Stone Cold shot the killer yourself, but you was up there with them. And I'm going to tell you, you know, the truth about everything I'm telling you, and I'll bring you in pictures to show it to you. So, you know, and there's no lying in my game. So I know you're scared, I know you're you're young, and I know what happened up there probably wasn't the plan. Just a bunch of guys that ain't very good at what they're doing. Alright, you want me to look at pictures of the driftwood? Were you you getting into the car? I'll, I mean, I'll bring it to you. I just want you to understand this, man, because once me and you are done, I don't want you to ever be able to come back and say, Mongo, I should have told you the truth. You know, I was scared. And now I'm all fucked up because I didn't want to tell you the truth because, you know, this is the kind of thing that remorse kind of is everything. If you, if you feel, I know if you feel bad about what happened because it wasn't supposed to happen, then that's called remorse. If you if you don't feel remorse, then you're like a stone cold killer, you know. And, you know, the sad thing about this is I can watch a video and I can see what happened. I can see who's getting in the car at the driftwood. I can see you guys backing the car up. I can see you getting out. I can see you walking over to Robert Allen's mama's house because the cameras capture everything, including the car wreck. <laughs> when you guys wrecked the car afterwards and everybody ran out of the car, you know? And the only reason I even know about that is because Chucky told us about it. So, you want to tell the truth or not? You're young, man. You need to tell the truth. You weren't driving. It wasn't your idea. These guys are all older than you. 
the man, you know, the the man uh, kind of bucked bucked what was going on. So you need to tell me what happened. So who first came up to you in the car, in the Dodge Journey? Who drove up to you and picked you up? Come on, man, you want to tell the truth. You don't want to get caught up in, in something like this where you have no remorse. You know? They, they, they have no choice. They walked in right to the store, right on the video, went right into the store up to the counter. So you know when they come down here, they're going to tell the truth. So I'm asking you, who who came and picked you up and where did they pick you up at? You don't want to tell me? All right. Want me to go get the picture? Or you, I mean, just tell me to fuck off then. So I know you're done. Does that mean you're done? Let's say it. You're done. I don't know what to, I don't know what to talk about. All right, well, I, like I said, that's fine. I'm just like laying it all out to you. You asked me to tell you what it's all about, I told you what it's all about. I tell you I'm going to do it. I know, and I'm just telling you what the facts are. Your fingerprints are on the Dodge Journey. Mm -hmm. You're on video getting out of the Dodge Journey, getting into the Dodge Journey. Mm -hmm. You want me to go get the pictures to prove it to you? Take your word. Take my word? Because you know it's true or you just... Or you just don't, or you just don't care. Well, let me go get the pictures. I'll go get the pictures. Well, it's the pictures of you getting into the Dodge Journey. That's a pretty simple thing. Once you get into the Dodge Journey, then it gets a little harder because then you got to explain what happened. Okay, so I'm going to go get pictures of the Dodge Journey, and I'll be right back. Again, I ask you, you want a water or not? No? You sound as uh, for... You're under arrest for cocaine and whatever else you had, drug-wise. You're here for a homicide DNA search warrant, fingerprints, and photographs. And now you ask me to tell you what the homicide's about. I don't care about what the homicide's about. I'm, I want to get down what I'm here for. Okay. Well, you want to be taken to the county jail, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. No problem. You know what happens when your phone gets in that parking lot at Riva Motorsport? Picks up the router. You know that? Okay. I'll be back. Take it down. He's finishing your paperwork up. Ah. There's you and Trey walking over to Fat Boys of Mom's house. So, anyways, he's finished your paperwork up as soon as he's done. If you're ready, we'll take you. Mm. All right? You don't look at those? Mm. Yeah? Mm. You don't look at those? There's you, there's you, and there's you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Who knows? That's you. You can't tell? That's not you? Oh, okay. 
Do you know who that is? Trey? You don't know a guy named Trey? Oh, you don't know nobody. Hmm. Funny thing, I, I think that one thing is right there, that lighter hanging out of your your pocket is even what they they got out of the car when they got you out of the car. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, all you should do is go through the circle on your phone. All right, he's coming with the paperwork. Gonna take you to jail. You got a uniform. Guy who caught you with all the drugs. Tell your grandma where you're at? No? Stand up so we can take that leg iron off you. Yeah. Right, you gotta put your. Actually, yeah, do me a favor. Sit back down because the hole's on the other side. Put it for your leg up, but don't get me all dirty with your feet. God damn, man. I gotta be able to see it. Okay, now stand up, put your hands behind your back for this young man here. Did you read all that? Good. I'm going to put it in your pocket. Oh. Follow him. <laughs> <laughs> 